Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started with Apple Reminders. This year, since iOS 15, Apple Reminders has really come of age. Apple have added a few new features that have made this simple to-do list into something that you can use in a much, much bigger way. But you do need to understand how to navigate around reminders, how to set up the list, what the difference between a folder and a list is, and so on and so forth. So I'm put together, I've put together this video for you so that you can really get to understand reminders and to see what you can do. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Apple productivity apps, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into Apple Reminders now and I'll show you all the little tiny things that you can do to get it set up and working for you. Okay, so here we have Apple's Reminders on Mac OS Monterey and I've set up my folders for the time sector system. So this is uh, an inbox which I've named that. That's just the standard catch all folder. And what you can do when you create your inbox, you can actually assign that as the default um, folder or list. Now going down this, this is actually a smart folder which I'm going to come to in a moment. But what I've got here is you'll notice these icons on the left hand side right here. This is a folder. This is a group of uh, lists together. So if I open it up, I've got my this week. So these are the tasks that I want to complete this week and my recurring areas of focus, which are the things that come up every day or every week or every over every month that just need doing that part of my areas of focus. Now that's a little bit advanced for what we're going to talk about today. But those of you who followed my channel for a while, you know about the recurring areas of focus, you know how important they are, and they need to be recurring on a regular basis. So inside there, you'll see that I've got write newsletter essay comes up weekly on a Thursday, record my YouTube videos comes weekly or on a Friday, which I'm recording this and so on and so forth. So that's that particular list. Going down the list, we've got next week. So these are any, ta any this is just a regular list that, that you can do uh, that I'm going to be doing next week. I don't want to be worrying about them this week. Same for this month. They need to be done. It needs to be looked at or done at some point this month, but I will deal with that when I do the next planning session. Next month, I've got nothing in there long term and on hold. These are things that I'm not sure when I'm going to do them. I would just like to do them at some point. Then I have my routines. Routines are the things that just have to be done weekly, daily, daily, monthly, monthly, and so on and so forth. And then here, I've got my shopping list. And the reason why the shopping list is in my reminders is perfectly because I can activate and add stuff to that list using Siri all I have to do is ask Siri to add something to my shopping list. So in this example, I just asked her to add light bulbs to my shopping list. So how do you create these lists and how do you create these folders? Well, first of all, you've got down here, add list. So I can just tap on the bottom here, add list, and now I can actually go and choose my list. So I'm going to put this as a sample. Now I like to put my list in capital letters. This is entirely up to you. This is just my preference. I can choose the color. So in this case, I'm going to choose red and I can choose an icon by clicking on the icons there and that will give me a load of emojis that I can pick and choose to add to that list. So I could say this is my my study list. So maybe I can find a student. Uh, let's find a student. So we'll find a student there. I'm, I'm Namja. I'm a boy. Uh, so I'm going to put that there. And that's going to give me an icon for that. So that's all done. And I can just click OK. And that's now going to give me the little icon right there as the as a sample. So that's just a regular list. Now let's just say that I want to create to group that into a folder. Now 
adding folders on iOS, so that's iPad or, or your phone, is a little bit different. You just go down to the bottom of your screen and you'll see add folder. With your Mac OS, you have to go to file and new group. So we're going to create a new group. And I'm just going to call this again sample. And I'm going to, now I can move, like I've got my sample one in there and I can move, for example, I can move my routines one in there. So I can have several, I can have all my folders <laughs> listed in there if I wish. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull that one out. But so you can add as many folders in there as you wish. So if you sense you're creating sub folders inside your list. Okay, so how do we create a smart list? Well, what we need to do again is click on add list and we're going to create, uh, this is my, we're going to call this a smart list. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to click on here, make into a smart list. So this is now going to give me a few extra options. So I can say tags or date or whatever I want to do. So let's put in a date. So uh, specified, uh, let's go relative range in the next one day. Uh, okay, I'm going to put, it's saying one, and then I can go here and day. And then I'm going to add another thing, another to that is tags. I'm going to tap in there and I'm going to type in work. So that's work. Uh, so this is going to be anything that's related to work and is in the next one day. When I click OK, I now have a smart list. And as you can see, it's already populated these tasks because they've all been given, they've all got the, the tag work. So that's how you create a smart list using macOS Monterey. It's a little bit different from the way you create it on iOS, but it does do the same thing. And of course, with any of your lists, you can move them around. So I'm going to move that up here and that's now up here below my inbox. So that's what I really wanted to just cover in this video. It's a really basic video just to show you that you can create groups and you can create lists. The groups is just where you can just bring things together as I've done here with my This Week folder, uh, which is one that I would regu I regularly use. Uh, I've got the two. This is related to my This Week and that's what I need just want them together like that. And then next week, this month, next month, long term and on hold and so on and so forth. So that's basically the list and you've got your uh, folders or groups as they like to call them. And also you can create your smart list. And by the way, you can actually go in there. If you hit control and tap on the smart list, you can go in and you can play around with show smart list folder uh, info and now you can change this around you can add more options to your smart list you can create as i say you can change the icon you can change the color you can do whatever you like again it doesn't it's not set in stone once you've set it up but they're really good so there you go that's how you get everything set up using the new Mac OS Monterey reminders, a little bit different than using it on your mobile device, but still all the functions are there. So there you go. Hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully you're going to start using reminders because it is such a wonderful tool now that I'm sure you'll get a lot of value from using it. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your Apple productivity systems to the next level and you want to bring in your calendar, your reminders, your iCloud and your Apple Notes all together into one beautiful productivity system, then please take a look at my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course. It's completely updated for Mac OS Big Sur and iOS 14 and it's readily available now. All you need to do is pop over to my learning center, get yourself enrolled and within about 90 minutes to two hours you're going to have yourself the know-how to build your very own Apple productivity system. I hope you join me in this course. This course now includes how to set up the Apple system using the time sector system so you get a modern day time management system fit for the world that we live in today and the world that we're probably about to move into next year in 2021, 2022. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video and I really do hope you join me in this course.